Speaking of, it's Python on Hardware time. Burr, 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 burr. What's the song? Okay. Um, two weeks worth. Yeah, well, two weeks sort of. I mean, you can, ish. Yeah, you can get our newsletter. Um, we have, um, I think, the most popular, whatever, if there's a way to do that. I want to say it's the most popular. Yeah. <laughs> wrong. Yeah. So there's thousands and thousands of people who subscribe to the Adafruit Daily Python on Hardware newsletter. We don't track, we don't do metrics. We don't do anything. You can subscribe, unsubscribe anytime. It's on a separate website, adafruitdaily.com, because we don't even want it to be associated with your shopping experience at all. It's not Substack. Because we all know what happens when you go to a website and you buy something, they spam you forever. We don't, but we do want to do newsletters and more. So we've made a separate website called Adafruit Daily. And that's where we have multitudes of newsletters, including this one. So um, first up, we have some stories, uh, some news in the world. This is kind of good news for everybody who's been paying attention to this. Um, the Raspberry Pi Compute Module 4s are coming back into the retail channels. If you've been waiting, they're out. They're happening. It's yep. slowly but surely, just like all we of this. Pi 4s are all completely in stock. Yeah. If you want a Raspberry Pi 4, you can get one Yeah, right we now. changed the limit too. So you can get more than just one Pi 4 right now. So we do have those. Um, you can check out the benchmarks for the Raspberry Pi 5, talking to an oscilloscope with Python. Um, this is interesting. You know, while we were on break for one week, uh, OpenAI uh, collapsed and then came back. And Lamour had done an article interview like months ago. with IEEE Spectrum. And um, it was uh, kind of interesting because there's a lot of stuff going on right now with, with OpenAI and how these models are trained and everything. But uh, just to summarize, ChatGPT style, um, ChatGPT it appears it was trained on Lemoore's code so much that it's a very good coding companion for her. So when she's writing Arduino libraries or certain bits of code, the code that's outputting for that types of stuff looks like her code because it was probably trained on her code. And we're actually fine with that. Um, when we use ChatGPT, we'll put it in either the README, we'll put it everywhere that we say, we hey, we use this. And then we put the link to the actual ChatGPT session so you can see that. No one else is doing that, that's fine. Um, we think that's good because this is changing. Um, every day, people are using these tools for more. Um, we think this is a good use because it's Lemoore's code and then it's popping out um, code, more of her code companion. And if you're wondering, hey, what do we think about you doing this? Yeah, do it. Because we do it. Lady 8 is not gonna be able to be a one-on-one -on -one code coach for you. But with this, maybe she can in some way. So anyways, there's an interview with her and you can see um, the main nice graphic too. Um, it's a nice graphic. Yeah, they did a good job. I triple A, that's, that's, that's the deal. So anyways, um, and that being said, um, I wanted to go to Playgrounds and have you talk about this project. So Playground is our new... Oh, wait, can you scroll down? Oh, yeah. It's in the newsletter. We, we highlight it. Yeah. We highlight projects in newsletters, by the way. So oh, yeah. If you want your newsletter highlighted, yeah. put it oh. in a playground is a great way to do it. One last thing I should mention, Hackspace Magazine is out. There's a bunch of Python projects, Python hardware projects, obviously. And then if you want, you can go to um, playground.adafruit.com and check out, or just go to our learn system, learn.adafruit.com and check out Playground. Because on Playground, there's all these guides that you and the community can do. And then we put it in our newsletter. So it's a full circle of things. Yes. So um, it's an ecology. Yeah. So you want to talk about this one? Yeah. DJ Delty um, did a project. He showed it off on um, show and tell a couple of weeks ago. And I was like, that's a cool idea. So there's a lot of people who play like truck simulators um, and they're, you know, you want to use a microphone. Well, so they use a headset, but they're like playing with other people um, to like pretend like they're on a CB radio. But he's like, wouldn't it be cool if actually you could use a CB radio. And so um, this is a project showing how to turn a a CB radio into like a, you know, you click it to mute and unmute, and then you can use the microphone inside as a mic. Um, and so it's a, it's a bit of a build, but I guess he really likes playing this game. And so this is a, a really neat hack showing how to take existing hardware. Like, I don't even know. I mean, I'm assuming it must be very easy to get CB radios are probably not super popular um, anymore since everyone's got, uh, you know, Telegram and WhatsApp and phones. Um, but you can make cool props for yeah, uh, your video games. So I just thought this was neat and a great use of CircuitPython because it's really easy and it's accessible. And um, you, just, you know, shove some wires into the CB radio thing and you put it in a nice case and it works great. And there's been a lot of CircuitPython projects published on Playground. So uh, check out the featured um, projects. Um, you know, this Wi-Fi matrix. Oh, wait, can you go back to the Playground? Yeah, lots of lots of lots of lots of projects. So check it out. Lots of CircuitPython in particular. It's a good place to 
post up your yeah. Python on hardware. And you know, in the past, one of the things that we were asked is, hey, I have a cool circuit Python project. Can I uh, publish it on Learn? And now we have Playground, which is exactly that. It's the same authoring tool, and you can put it there. Then we see it, we feature it on the blog, we feature it on the newsletter. More people contribute to your project, and uh, we're keeping this ad-free, tracking-free. It's just for you to use, and um, no strings attached. It's just to help you document your project somewhere. There's lots of places you can do it online, but you need accounts to view like the whole thing. Um, sites kind of hide the content behind a sign up. I get that that's our, that's our model. We don't have the model. We just we make hardware open source hardware, and then we do this as a community service for everyone. So do check it out and uh, yeah, put a guide up. Okay. We do this every single week. It's delivered to your inbox. It is adafruitdaily.com. <laughs>